Hi, I'm Mindy Peters, the Solutions Manager at SPI, and in this video, we are going to talk about Circle's home feed setting. So specifically, what I want to show you with Circle's home feed is how you can use the little sort of post builder that's at the top of it for announcements and ways to nudge your community members into taking action on a very specific thing. First, I'm going to show you how we're using the home feed little post builder in our two communities and then I'll show you how to set that up. Here I am in the SPI Academy and this is our community for our course students so that they can connect with other members of the SPI community who are also taking the same course they are as well as here at the top we've got a bunch of different things that that are going on. We've got events, we've got ways to sort of connect with with the SPI course community as a whole. And what I want to focus on here is this box at the top, which looks very similar to a post within the community. Let me show you what a post looks like. So it looks really similar, but it is a little bit different in that we have the ability to control this in the home feed settings. And what it lets us do is it lets us make announcements to our community so that when our members are logging back in, we can nudge them toward taking some action on a specific a specific event or task. So what you can see here, sort of the anatomy, if you will, here, we've got a really fun gift to try to draw your attention into this post. We've got this banner image at the top and we tend to keep this banner image the same from week to week, but this is absolutely something that you could be changing on a regular basis if you wanted to. And then we've got the content here. And so what we are calling out here is there's a podcasting AMA coming up and we want our members to attend it. And so we're trying to get them, hey, come here and RSVP. And then once you get below this announcement po post here, then we just have the normal home feed setting, which are trending posts within our community based on some criteria that we are going to set in the settings menu. So we'll get to that in just a minute. But before we do, I just want to show you what we have set up in SPI Pro, which is our community. It's our paid community for online entrepreneurs to connect with other online entrepreneurs to talk about sort of issues in their business. We've got special events. We've got just ways for them to connect and interact. And we're using this very similarly in the SPI Pro community as well. Again, you see a banner at the top and we tend to keep this banner very much the same, but this is something, again, you could rotate on a regular basis. We've got a fun gift to draw people's attention in and this is all thanks to our wonderful community manager, Known. He has a great sense of humor and so he really lets it shine in these posts. I love it so much. But then here, again, you see we have a specific action that we are hoping our members when they log back in will take, which is every week we have a highs and lows post and we want them to go in and interact with that post. So here is how you configure this post at the top of your home feed settings. In this little menu here in the upper right, we are going to click on the settings icon and that takes us into our settings menu here in circle. And we're going to go down the left hand side bar until we get to home, click on home. And if you have not enabled the home feed, the first thing you'll need to do is flip the switch here to enable that home feed. And then before we get to configuring that little announcement post, here is where we set sort of the criteria for the trending posts that show up in the home feed for our members. So the first thing is the, the threshold for how old can a post be and still be included. So we have said that we don't want to include any posts that are older than five days. Now, if you have a lot of activity going on in your community um, and sort of things are changing all the time, maybe you might want to set that number a little bit lower. Maybe like, you know, you don't want to include anything older than three days. But if your posts tend to have a lot more longevity within your community, or you know that people um, maybe aren't logging in quite as frequently, maybe you might want to set that window a little bit longer, maybe seven or 12 days. So then the next setting here is this default post sort for logged in users. So this is saying, how do we sort the trending posts for anybody who's logging back into the community? And so you've got a few different options here. 
I've gone with latest for our community, but you could say the posts that have the most likes should be at the top or the most popular, which I think just means comments and likes should be at the top. Or maybe you, you want to make sure that they see things before they expire. In that case, you would choose oldest. Experiment with these settings and see sort of where you get the most engagement with your community or, you know, solicit some feedback from some of your key community members to see which option they like the best. Or just choose one, you know, and move on with your life. That's okay too. You have a lot of decisions to make and we don't need to sort of obsess over each one of them. Now, the next setting really only matters if you are a public community. So both of the communities I've shown you here are private communities, which means if you're logged out, you can't see any of the content there. And so in that case, this setting doesn't really matter for us. But if you have a public community, you might want to adjust this so that basically if if you have people who are checking out your community and they can see things because you're public, um, then maybe you want to adjust that so that people who are new to your community and haven't created an account yet, you can sort of, you can sort of customize what they're seeing. And then this here, show posts from all public spaces. So in SPI Pro, we have that setting turned off. And in the SPI Academy, we have that setting turned on. Basically what this is saying is um, if you have it turned off, the members are only going to see posts from the, the spaces that they belong to. But in this case, we have it turned on. And so members are going to see posts from any of the public spaces within our community. And by public, I mean any of the spaces that they could belong to. Now let's scroll down just a little bit here. Logged in defaults. So again, logged in means when your community member it has is logged into your community. This is where you set that when they log in, they land on the home page. You do have the ability to set other spaces, but again, we want to use this home page feed, and so we want the default page for existing members to be home. However, and I think this is very important, we have a different page for somebody when they're logging in for the first time. So when new members log in, we want to start them in a curated space that is going to sort of give them instructions, give them a warm welcome, and sort of help them orient themselves within the community. So in that case, for our new members, we're not going to set it to the home page. We're going to set it to our start here space. If you don't have a dedicated space for brand new members like this, I would really I would really encourage you to set one up because logging into an established community for the first time can feel really overwhelming. And so it's nice to give those brand new members a curated welcome into your community. Next, flip the switch for show a welcome banner. And this is where we configure that fun little announcement post at the top. You build this just like you build a regular post within a regular space. You can set a featured image or video at the top. We've created a banner like this and we keep our banner, you know, mostly the same. We don't change it very often, but you absolutely could. And you know what? You can create this just using a free tool like Canva. I mean, you can see that basically we just have a colored background here. We've got an emoji and we've got some text here. This was not complicated to put together. And so it could be something that you change on a regular basis. Or if you wanted to, you could put a video in here instead. And maybe every week you change out the video. And so maybe you put in a new video on Monday mornings and just sort of give your members a like, here's what's happening in the community this week. Next down here, we've got the title. And so if I flip back and look at the post here, you can see what you put there just shows up just like a regular post title. And then you've got the same message editor that you're using elsewhere. You can put in text and if you want to add in a hyperlink, just highlight some of that text and click on the link to add in a link. You can see we did that here. Um, and this is just a link over to one of our existing posts. And then we've just uploaded an image here, uh, uh, an animated GIF. Now, right here you have a switch. You can see we have it turned off but I'll show you what happens if you turn it on. This lets your members dismiss the welcome banner. So just flip the switch, scroll to the bottom and hit save changes. 
So now when I reload my homepage here, you can see in the upper right hand corner, I've got a little X here where I could dismiss this little announcement and I could make it go away. But what if you want to make sure when you change it, your members see the new banner and it isn't gone that time. Circle thought of that. So let me show you this. So there is this setting here that says reset members close banner preferences. So if I click on that, I get this little box here. And if I hit confirm, now it's going to reset that banner at the top. So what's cool about that is if you're changing this on a regular basis, let's say every Monday you go in and put in a new announcement. When you do that, if you were letting your members dismiss those banners, when you put in the new content, then just click this, reset the closed banner preferences, and then when they log back in, they'll see this week's new banner. It's very clever, and I'm glad that they thought of that. Now let's just scroll down the rest of the menu here, and I can show you what else we have to work with. So in logged out defaults, again, this really only applies if your community is public, which ours is not, so we haven't really fussed with this. But if you wanted to, so here you have the ability to change which page your logged out visitors are landing on. So if somebody is visiting your community for the first time, or if they're coming back and they haven't logged in yet, um, you can set again which space that they are going to land on when they come to your community. So what's really cool here is you can set up a different banner for logged out visitors separate from the one that you have for your logged in members. And that lets you target each audience separately with a different message. I think that's really cool. I think it's great that Circle thought about that. The last section in the home page menu here are the meta tags. And again, this really only matters if your community is public, this is where you are setting the SEO for your home page. When you make your changes, don't forget to hit save changes at the bottom. I hope that this video has given you some ideas for how you can use this feature of the home page to help nudge your members or your visitors toward an action that you want them to take. If you are managing a community and you are looking to connect with other entrepreneurs who are also managing communities, I would like to point you toward SPI Pro. We have a lot of community members who are also managing communities of their own. And so we've got so many great discussions going on within the community about how to handle the tough parts of managing a community, how to help bring more members into your community, and just to help each other come up with fun new ideas for managing a community. If that sounds interesting to you, check us out at smartpassiveincome.com pro.